What's up fools, how's it going? Welcome to another Tutorial Thursday, Titty. And today I'm gonna walk you through how you can make your shots look just like the intro. Let's begin. Hmm, Titty. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well and it is Halloween. So I'm gonna make a little creepy tutorial for you and show you how you can light your shots. It's basically about lighting today light your shots in a certain way that it looks like creepy and like it could be from a horror movie. So it's mostly about lighting today, how to set up your lights, but by the end of this video I still have one special tip for you, so stay tuned. I mean it comes to the lighting basics really, we have a key light, a fill light and a rim light, but today we're just going to be focusing on the key light, because the key light, it's this one right now, the key light sets the mood. And if I don't have any particular mood in mind, I want, I just want it to look normal. I just set the key light from there, shine on the face and that's it. But to make something horrifying or, you know, creepy looking, you have to be a little more creative. So there's really only three light setups you can do to make them look horrifying or creepy looking. Let's go through them. The first one is when the key light is directly from the side that makes one side of the subject look bright, the other one is dark. If you only have one light source, it's completely bright here and completely black here, so you only see one side of the face. And the purpose for that is because every light setup has a purpose, or it should have a purpose. The purpose of this one in particular is that you want to show that the subject has two sides. It's like, can we trust him? Can we not trust him? He has a good side and an evil side. This is what you want to show through this shot. The next one is very popular in demon movies, ghost movies, anything where you have a creature which is evil, like it comes from hell, then you set the light right below your subject. If it shines into your face from down there, it looks like you're being lit by hell. It's very unnatural, like natural light comes always from above. When it comes to lighting, we always try to simulate the sun or like something normal and that's the exact opposite. So if you want your subject to look like a demon or evilish or from hell, you're gonna light your subject from below. And the last light setup is very popular in like gangster movies and poker scenes. You know what I'm talking about. You light the subject from the top. That gives the subject very dark eyes, shadows in the eyes. If you don't see the subject's eyes, you can't really trust it. You don't know what the subject is thinking. It's very mysterious. And this is how you would light such a person. So again, we have three light setups. One lit from the side, if a subject has two sides, good and evil. One from below, if your subject is demonic or like from hell. Or one from the top, if you can't really trust your subject and it's very mysterious. A great way to experiment with those light setups is what you can do at home is you just use a regular light. It can be the flashlight of your phone. Right now I'm using an aperture light. It's like a little LED light. It's battery powered, lasts for like two hours. It's very good. It costs like $80 or so, not sponsored. But it could be. But with this here, you can really just turn off all the lights in your house, make sure it's dark, you know, preferably at night, and then just experiment. Move around your face, record it with a camera, and then you see exactly what the light is doing to your face. And this way you can make your horror movies and scary pictures look very creepy. I told you about a little bonus tip in the end, here it comes. If you really want to go the extra mile and you shoot a horror film, what you really, really, really need is fog. You need a haze machine to fog up the entire room because that gives you a very cool effect. All the light sources are going to throw god rays and it's going to make it look very gloomy and in general it gives a lot of depth in the shot. So that's something you definitely should practice with if you want to shoot horror movies or creepy stuff or movies in general. Haze is always great. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and happy Halloween. Mm-hmm.